guys, my name's James. And I'm Ashley. Last year we sold our house and we're traveling across the country with our kids. Hi, my name's Goose and this is Maverick. <laughs> Come join us. Guys, Goose has officially ridden in Moab. Morning guys and welcome to Willow Springs BLM land. There it is right out there. It is beautiful and thankfully it is way less busy today than it was last week. Just a heads up, middle of October apparently is a holiday in Utah. So everybody and their uncle is out here riding, which was great because it was fun to go out and find someone to ride with. But for going to national parks, you definitely want to avoid uh, holidays because there's nothing worse than being in a national park, seeing this beautiful scenery, going over a bunch of bumps like we are right now, and then having a ton of people around you feeling like you're in a crowded mall. It's horrible. So avoid holidays at all costs. And if you can, avoid weekends like we are today. It is Wednesday, middle of the week, holiday is over. So hopefully this is a best case scenario for going to Arches. And something we've also learned, apparently Arches is such a popular national park that they actually set a capita, a limit of the amount of vehicles that are allowed in the park. So once they hit that limit, you cannot get into the park until someone exits the park. So there's just a massive line there because it's one car out, one car in for the rest of the day once they hit that limit. So beware, if you are able to be an early riser, get there first. And for us, this is early. We are actually on the road and it's 10.15. That's pretty good for us since we get up, have breakfast, get the kids to do their all thing and then we have to get ready. You know, we could definitely get up early. We could have woken up at 6 instead of 7.30, but for us, we want to enjoy the day. So being on the road by 10 o'clock, not bad. I just love this BLM spot because we have this beautiful view of the mountains out there. Woo, it's bumpy. You excited to do some hiking today, Goose? Yeah. Go explore some arches? Yeah? How about you, Mav? You ready to go? Oh, she got her hood up, poor kid. She likes her hood up. She's, she's an odd duck. She likes to have her hood up and her hands in her pocket. You guys, check out check out these clouds this morning. It was so cool coming out this morning and these cliffs were just covered with clouds. Even those over there had like cloud cover over them, almost like a low fog. It was gorgeous. Anyways, enough talking. Let's roll that montage and head into Arches National Park.
Okay, here, so here's our test, guys. Our National Parks Pass expired last month. This is the first national park we've been to this year, or this season. Uh, so we were told, or I, from the research I found, that you can get the park passes at national park entrances. So here's the test. We'll let you know for sure if we can buy the Land of the Beautiful, or whatever it's called, the National Parks Pass, right at the ticket booth. Because we are officially like at pass. a ticket booth. All right, there it is. New season pass. Yay! 2018 2019 season yes and it's so worth it because we would have paid 30 bucks to get in here anyway yeah so we use this a couple times and we're good yeah. so for uh 80 bucks we get to go access to all of the parks for the entire year until the end of next october we've used this thing like we didn't think it was a big thing and his mom and stepdad gave us yeah we didn't actually buy our use theirs one. and this, oh this, if you're gonna be traveling the country, so much money saved us so. This much. is key. So, we are good to go. You can buy it at the front of pretty much every do national we park look entrance. At the visitor center or um, do it on the way back? I think we should do it on the way out if we want to, just okay. because the park will get busier. So we learned that the holiday uh, last week, like I said, it was crazy busy, was a like teachers convention for Utah, and then also uh, Colorado, a bordering state, was also having some sort of convention. So that's why it was so packed, and they did reach their max capacity, so they had to close the park down. For about Let's two hours. Look, look, look. look These up at cliffs. The We're only Isn't at the crazy? entrance and it's already cool. Oh my goodness. All right. I must drive. Now we gotta figure out this where is we're why going. You wanted me to drive so that you could have a look at all the pretty views. And film. You guys, sorry, no drone footage at the park. No, no water. So okay. Nope. So it says bring drinking water. Stay on the trails. Rangers built small rock piles to mark the trail. Watch out for falling rocks. Watch out for thunderstorms. No drones. No going on top of the arch. No dirt bikes or ATVs. Don't pick up flowers and do not leave graffiti. Got it. Got it. All right, guys. First hike of the day. We are out here. Or? No, there's no water. We are doing the double arch, which has the parade of elephants. So supposedly, at some angle here, these rocks are supposed to look like elephants over here, which I'm not quite seeing yet, but maybe we're not oh, at the I right spot. One. Where? Look straight ahead. Okay. See the kind of the foot down, and then a hump little back, and a little booty. But it doesn't quite have a long trunk. Okay. If you say so, that's it. Are you looking at that? <laughs> And this is a perfect hiking trail for us because it's well groomed and it's only a quarter mile in and a quarter mile out. So it's a half a mile round trip. So Maverick might actually be able to walk the whole thing. We do have the little uh, carry all thing with Jigger if we need to pick her up and carry her, but she might be able to do this whole hike by herself. Are you gonna hike this whole trail by a little, yourself? A little chilly. All right, let's go. Maybe. She's super independent this year. I asked if she wanted me to carry her and she goes, no. Yeah, it's a completely She's... different experience this year. Careful, careful, don't run. Gonna fall. Because <laughs> last year all the parks went to, she's basically sleeping and whatnot, so whole different experience now that she's almost two. And one and a half, close enough. Yeah, it looks like that's where it eroded away. We found an elephant. It looks yeah. like it's drinking up some water. Oh uh, yeah, there it is. The little elephant trunk sucking up the dirt. I can kind of see the parade of elephants right there. You guys see it? It's kind of like seeing things in the clouds. You have to stretch your mind. But if you look for it, that totally does look like an elephant right there with his free, actually even more so when you get further up here, I can see its rear legs and its front legs and then its trunk here. Right there, there's his trunk, front legs, and there's his hind legs right there. That's pretty cool. Okay, now this is an awesome field trip. There's a class down here that is doing like art of the arch. I wish I lived in the Utah area because this would be such a cool field trip as a kid. Although I guess you're doing this as a field trip, huh? We're learning about erosion and all sorts of things while we're out here. Okay, let's go climb.
right, mommy's gonna stay down here, but me and Goose are gonna hike up to the top of the, not the top of the arch, but you can hike up right <laughs> up in there. So me and Goose are gonna go up there while Mav and Mom stay down here. This is just like when we were in Yosemite and we were hiking up the waterfalls in Yosemite. Yeah. All right, vlogging and rock climbing, we can do this. <laughs> this is so that cool. Way, way. This way to the right? Yes. Okay. Let me know if you need a hand. Okay. Get steeper here. All right guys, we've made it to the top, but this isn't enough for Goose. She wants to climb up and over this ledge and look on the other side. Think you can do it? It wasn't that hard. But this is like a legit wall. We're gonna go up and peek out over there. All right, you got it? Okay, yep. remember use your legs and keep your body close to the wall. Let's go up to the right here. There's a nice little footsteps right there. What, you want me to get me? Yeah. Oh, okay. Got it? <laughs> Very cool. She made it to the top, you guys. All right, so how is it down here? It was good, minus this one does not like to be left behind. Um, you guys started climbing up and she was really upset that she got left behind, so she started throwing a fit I know. about being in the front pack. So I told her she needed to ask me nicely, and so she asked nicely and I let her down and then she climbed up this entire thing by herself. <laughs> And then I made her stop because... Hey Mav, you want to show us how you climb? It made me nervous. <laughs> no. I got it, I got it. Good job. Oh. <laughs> She's got it. She's going to climb that wall. It's taller than her. You got it? You want help? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah, you got it? Oh, nice climbing. <laughs> She so badly wants to be a big kid like her sister, climbing everywhere. She's like wanting to keep going, so we're you all done. You're such a big kid. Good job, Mav. All right, little Mav. All right, Mav's Goose, let's go. We're gonna go to the next place. Please be careful coming down, because there's no one with you. Okay. This is easy compared to what we're doing up there, Mom. Doesn't make my mommy <laughs> heart beat any less. Best food ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do you agree, Mav? <laughs> So Goose has said multiple times that not only is this the best hike ever, but it's the best field trip ever. So, arches, it's a win for the kids, I guess. Actually, and it's got like this nice little path, it's really short, so Maverick's done most of it by herself. Yeah, this is pretty perfect for hiking with kids. Let's go explore the windows, Mav. <sighs> you sound like mommy. <laughs> All right guys, Mavic was getting grumpy, so mommy stayed down at the bottom of the hill while me and Goose are making it up here to the window arches. Whew, I am out of shape. You ready for the rock climbing? This is Goose's favorite part. All right Goose, how's the hike? Fun. Fun? Yeah. You tired a little? Uh -huh. This is the most exercise we've gotten in a while, huh? Yeah. We haven't done any hiking lately. It looks like maybe 
Dumbo lying down with his trunk. Ever since I told the elephant about that, ever, ever since I told Goose about the elephants over there, apparently every rock formation is an elephant here. We got elephants hugging there, Dumbo lying down over there. They're all elephants. You're cute, love, you're cute. So if you guys have kids and you're worried about coming to the national park because maybe they can't walk that far or whatnot, the nice thing is, is a lot of these paths are only about a quarter mile out and a quarter mile back. So it's super short and easy. You can take breaks in between uh, the different hikes. And then if you want to, like Goose, you can hike up some of these more steeper areas and actually go out and explore. But like Maverick is loving it because she can just walk around and it's super easy. Hey, you're far too fast. You made it up here quick. Whew, but it is I gorgeous. Just, I have climbed up more rock walls than you have. Eh, maybe. That is why you get to the park as early as you can. We granted we didn't get here that early, 10.30, but we got like one of the last spots in the lot, and now there's a row of 10 cars just slowly prowling, looking for spots. So Daddy stayed behind with Maverick this time because she actually fell asleep. So we are hiking up just a viewpoint, I believe, for the delicate arch or something. Does it feel good now that you're done hiking all the way up? Mm-hmm. Yeah, found a good, Good spot. <laughs> Down the hill. If I fall on my booty, are you gonna catch me? No. Oh, what? Punk. Okay, that rock is crazy. That's called balanced rock. And it seriously is, it looks like a giant boulder sitting on top of a toothpick, pretty much. Okay, but the cool thing is, is apparently, uh, I learned this by looking at the map, and I actually heard rumors there was trails that would lead into the park, but this road we're on, if we follow it about seven miles back that way, it goes directly to our campsite. So the Willow Springs BLM land goes to this Willow Springs road, which begs to the question, it, it is a four by four road, but if you have a four by four vehicle, can you get into the park without having to pay for entrance? Because I seriously doubt that they have a booth out there collecting tolls from 4x4 vehicles because I doubt hardly any of them do it. Sorry, uh, Maverick is being a horse back there. So this Moab Fault has to be one of the best examples I, you can visually see of fault lines because you learn about it as a kid and you can see diagrams and whatnot, but you can literally look out and see the one fault going down and the other mountain range pushed up and actually see the layers of the sediment and whatnot. So you can so easily visually see how it works. It's actually really cool. I wasn't expecting to see it that well, but you got the cliff on the right and then the one on the left. So cool. I am so excited about being in Moab, you guys. This was just our first couple days with this whole experience. We're planning on being here for a couple weeks because there is so much to do around Moab. From this Willow Springs BLM land, we can go dirt bike riding, we can go into the actual town of Moab, we can go explore arches, we can go to Dead Horse Point, we can go to Canyonlands. There is so much to do, and there's Moab Giants. I'm also really excited to share with you guys how our whole boondocking setup goes, because on this BLM land there's no hookup, so we're just dry camping this entire time. So I'm excited to share that with you guys. So if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe, and if you want some of those live updates and feeds about where we are on our travels, you can head on over to our Patreon page and check that out. But until next time, guys, remember, stay positive, get out there, life is an adventure, so make some memories.